Hello, everybody. Hope everyone had a good and safe new year. I have some interesting information from Democracy Now! with Amy Goodman. She uh, had a interview uh, today with uh, a professor, Francis Boyle, who is an international uh, human rights lawyer that actually dealt two um, indictments uh, with the Bosnian situation um, uh, in the International Criminal Court and won. Um, he was the first to ever win any such type such type of case, and he did a cup um, did study what the South African government has presented to the international court, and this is what he has to say. And based on my careful review of all the documents so far submitted by the Republic of South Africa, uh, I believe South Africa will win an order against Israel to cease and desist from committing all acts of genocide uh, against the Palestinians. And then we will have an official determination by the International Court of Justice itself, the highest uh, legal authority in the United Nations system, that genocide is going on. And under Article 1 of the Genocide Convention, all contracting parties, 153 states, will then be obliged, quote, to prevent, unquote, the genocide by Israel against the Palestinians. Second, when the World Court gives this cease and desist order against Israel, the Biden administration will stand condemned under Article 3, Paragraph E of the Genocide Convention that criminalizes complicity in genocide. And clearly, we know that the Biden administration has been aiding and abetting Israeli genocide against the Palestinians here for quite some time. So with the uh, piece that was done uh, with Democracy Now! and uh, Professor Boyle um, went on to explain his commitment uh, to getting, you know, the International Court of Justice uh, when he was dealing with the Bosnian Herzegovina situation and and the horrific genocide that was going there, that once it was f decided and the international court said it was a genocide, that pretty much immediately as soon as he walked out of the court, um, that the um, he in initiated and requested all 153 countries that were part of the Geneva Convention. Um, to implement a, milita a military intervention to save the Bosnian and Herzegovian people. So, with that being said, even the United States committed to a no-fly zone Im immediately that same afternoon after the ruling. But this gets a little tricky now because we know that our wonderful Zionist-loving president is going to not follow those rules. I mean, let, let's just kind of be, let's just be honest. This is not going to be an easy situation. But the indictment in international court will occur if Biden and his administration doesn't stop. And because so much of this deals with military and also other areas of the country, uh, the industrial area, I don't know how many companies are really going to keep committing uh, to funding, you know, uh, the machinery to fund this genocide when when they have shareholders they have to deal with, and shareholders do not want to have a company that they have invested in under the International Criminal Court of Justice indictment. So this is a long road for everybody, but I really am grateful that South Africa has done this. So we need to just keep at it. We need to keep good pressuring everybody. And hopefully uh, he's saying, uh, uh, Professor uh, Boyle has said that around mid-January is when this all is gonna start happening in the International Court of Justice in Hague. That's when it's the, they're gonna actually start doing the, the court hearing and all that. So it's not going to take long. And we got plenty of evidence. 
So this is not going to be a long procedure, I don't think, from what he indicated. So if you want to continue seeing more about what he says, please go onto YouTube and and uh, check out the uh, the videos that were posted today. One of them deals with a 22 minute interview with Mr. Francis Boyle or Dr. Francis Boyle, excuse me. Um, so. Um, if anybody has any other comments or things they want to talk about, please leave them in the comment section. Everybody have a good night. Take care.